Namaste, Assalamu Alaikum and a big hello. This week on Mindful Mondays, you're asking me questions and I'm giving you the answers with all my love, affection, attention and mindfulness. Enjoy. Ultimately, it's all about going solo because it's about inner work. But a friend can actually help you, perhaps if you have the same mission, getting fit together, getting over an ex or fighting the grief of bereavement then a friend can actually help. It's a myth that relationships and marriages are supposed to last forever. If they do, well and good. But they actually teach us great lessons. They're here for growth. So what lessons did you learn from your ex-husband? Wish him well. The more you do that, the more goodness will come in your life. Schools and colleges are not just about ranks and numbers. They're about social skills, interaction, independence, team spirit. And we're social animals. So if you look at it from that point of view, then schools and colleges are great. It's not about being positive, but it's about being optimistic. Like, yes, we're going through a pandemic, but I still see the light at the end of the tunnel. So yes, we must always be optimistic. And it's great for us mentally and physically and spiritually. A learning from professionals who were handling work remotely even before the pandemic. A great example is Lord Jeffrey Archer, who's been so prolific writing so many books because of scheduling, timetable and micromanaging. Chasing money is like chasing a moving target. You will never be happy and never be satisfied. Don't take the pressure of other people onto you. If you are happy with your bank balance, well, you will project that confidence and so will she respond to that. I had a late pregnancy, so yes, I had fears, but there's no place for two thoughts in your mind. So at all times, replace the fearful negative thought with a positive thought. Affirmations, meditation and powerful visualizations helped me. The trick is to not look for the man, but just be the person that you wish to attract in your life and just woo yourself. You are the best date you can ever have. So much so that you'll stop looking for the man and he will appear just like Sudanshu did. The way you start your day is how you will set your day. So for the first 15 minutes, be off social media, just meditate and celebrate your achievements, however small. Slowly you will learn to really value yourself, start becoming more present and the anxiety will start to vanish. Jealousy is just a reminder of all the goals that you have been ignoring. It's just a reminder to amplify the love that you have for yourself. It's a reminder to tell yourself that you're unique and perfect just the way you are product of our childhood and perhaps they had a childhood which was not filled with love they knew no better you can forgive them and now you know clearly what kind of a parent you're going to be and perhaps this can help you can act peacefully with various techniques but there will still be the temper within so you actually need to find out what is it that gets you upset on a deeper level start journaling and start finding out the patterns that get you upset you can only clean your side of the street so your path and your behavior should not be dependent on anyone else you be peaceful, you be respectful, and slowly and surely, she will do the same as the law of physics. Would you be shy if you had the cure for cancer? No, you would actually be screaming about it from rooftops, and this is how you should feel about your work. This is the day and age when you need to tell people how gifted, how talented you are, and the truth is, each one of us is. Parallelly with all the depression and sad news is a lot of positivity. In the news itself, you'll see a whole lot of people helping, distributing food. So focus on the good. There's tons of positivity. We just don't focus enough and just don't see it. Baby steps, atomic steps on a daily basis. And of course, time management, micromanagement and 4 a.m. So I wake up at 4 a.m. and get a lot done. Good luck. If a selfie makes you happy, for sure, my love, it would be my honor. But I look forward to having a meal with you. Perhaps chat, chat, Indian chat. Our children live up to our versions of them. That means they actually respond to our expectations we have of them. So treat them with kindness, be respectful, and they will respond. By never comparing your child with anybody else, the only comparison allowed should be with their own past. By constantly telling them that they're perfect the way they are and giving them complete attention, even if it's little time, but complete presence. It's not the amount of time you have, but what you do with your time, that's most important. So however little the time may be, bond with your child, let them know they are loved, valued and respected. Motivating myself is more important to me than eating food and exercising. It's really important to me. Uh, I motivate myself with podcasts, books and meeting regular people. Regular people inspire me. I'm glad you said we still love each other. Next time there's a heated debate, talk slowly. Talk slowly, breathe slowly. 
step back, sip some water or perhaps walk away and slowly you'll get into the habit that okay even if he raises his voice I will not feel you because I'm going through the same but on a daily basis I just show up with motivation, I fulfill all my responsibilities and commitments. Why? Because if I've made him happy and proud. I live his insights and his dreams through my work on a daily basis and you should too. Look up to Farah Khan, not because she's a mother of triplets but because she's so balanced, so forthright, so easygoing, gender neutral and so super authentic and because she's so authentic she wears her upheavals lightly and her super success so lightly and made gifts you accomplish a task and release dopamine you can make cakes cookies jams or simply make beautiful Christmas and New Year cards painting pottery oh beautiful gift ideas the more you focus on anxiety and delays, the more it will expand. This is your time to focus on gratitude. So what could you be grateful for? Well, good health. You and your son are enjoying good health wherever they are. And you all will meet at the right time. I used to do that as a teenager. I think I learned my lessons very quickly in life. And I know science, what it does to your body and what it does to your relationships. So no, thank you. I cope by crying, I cope by talking with uh, my family and I cope by you know keeping the memories alive and living my life with the way he would have wanted to and of course praying for his soul. Being mindful of every word you speak or think because every word becomes an affirmation and then slowly writing your own affirmations and reciting them in front of the mirror. Like I would tell you, hey, I love you just the way you are a journal and write down how much you love your husband because there are a whole lot of couples who are locked in together and would want otherwise. Also be grateful that perhaps you both are not happy but are healthy wherever you are and you both will meet soon. Cook recipes which are easy, practice them a few times, play music as you cook, start your cooking with chanting and a small prayer, cook with love. Your family loves you anyways and you know what, before you know it you'll become a master chef. Inner work and meditation is all about cleaning up your insides. That's why they say dis-ease is body not at ease. So when you start your inner journey, you will see all these outlets. But stay committed, stay on your journey. Good luck. Children learn to use bad language with the boundaries set at home. Are the parents using language like this? Are the shows that are played at home have language like this? Observe that and that will help you find insights.